Hey everybody, this is Nate coming to you from Palin Music Center down here in Springfield, Missouri, and we are taking a look at the Taylor T5Z standard. This has been out for a little while, but I'm going to tell you, I had to come back to this. Nash and I were talking about what to do for a video this week, and I was playing this guitar, and the tones of it reminded me when I was a kid, I had a cassette tape. That's what we used to listen to music on back in the day, kids. I had a cassette tape of, it was Wyndham Hill's Greatest Hits or something like that. It was like a, a bunch of different artists on there, like Tuck and Patty, and musically, um, what would eventually probably become Candy Rat Records with all the guys that are like hitting their guitars and doing all the cool stuff I can't do on acoustic guitar, but sort of that, that edge between jazz and acoustic folk and maybe a little bit of smooth jazz, but also just beautiful music, great melodies and great chord structure and everything. Anyway, I was listening to some of that and then I played this T5 in the store and I was like, holy guacamole. This T5 plugged into just an acoustic amp or like a little portable PA, Yamaha stage pass, something like that, sounds a lot like what's going on in that kind of music, okay? And a lot of that, I mean, if you listen to Joe Pass Virtuoso, it sounds like to me, I mean, he's playing a hollow body electric, obviously, but there's also like a microphone like in front of the guitar or something because you hear such clear enunciation off of his fingers and this thing does that and I don't know if they like designed it that way or if it was happy accident but whatever like the tones are in there so this video is to show the T5 is not just this sort of between the electric world and acoustic world this sort of compromise it's its own thing it's its own thing and so it's treated as such so we're playing through a Fender Acoustasonic right now and let me just walk you through these tones real quick if you haven't heard of this before T5 there's three different pickups in here, right? Five uh, positions, the five and the T5. The first one, there's a neck pickup, like a humbucker hidden underneath here. And that first thing that I play that you heard, that was on position number one. This is the most acoustic-y thing. I mean, if you closed your eyes, you didn't know, you would just think that's a Taylor plugged into a which it is, but you think it's a Taylor acoustic, straight up acoustic guitar. And then position number two, you have just the neck pickup, okay? So this is where you kind of get into that. That's that kind of tone I was really hearing, but there's a lot of amazing, like if I turn my bass up. So you've got a bass and a treble here that there is a lot of tonal variation just with messing with those. But if I turn the treble down here, I mean, there's a lot of just kind of hollow body ness in there. I like it. And then you go to position number three. I'm going to turn that bass down just to skosh. This is a little bit of Merle. Got that bite to it. It sounds just like a little bit of acoustic meets tweed kind of amp, right? It's kind of got that little vibe to it. Now, back here, this is the neck humbucker with this humbucker. Did you know this was a humbucker? It's not a tele lipstick style pickup. It looks like it, but it's actually a humbucker, right? And this is these two guys in parallel. So both of them going straight to output, same amount of attention from the guitar. It sounds like when I hear that, it reminds me of uh, that Alice in Chains tune. kind of sing don't get nervous but it, it's a don't follow it's kind of got that vibe to it and then back here in the very back you've got both of the same pickups but instead of being parallel now they're in series so like one is affecting the other here it's got a little bit of a little bit of squawk to it I 
<laughs> a little sort of acoustic y thing meets Gretchy thing, right? It's like a filtron. Yeah, like a filtron kind of thing. Thank you, Nash. So this guitar has lots of really cool different tones in of itself. And I'm just going through an acoustic amp. There's a ton of demos out there of guys playing this through an electric and acoustic. And I think that is a worthwhile endeavor. But I just don't forget that this is a cool thing just in of itself. A great guitar, a worthy component to your guitar arsenal. Let's try a 12 string really quick. Twelve string. I'm gonna tell you what. If you're recording and you do your own songs and recording at home, and you haven't taken a twelve string and recorded the same track in stereo, so do it twice. Don't just copy and paste, and then panned those. You're missing out on a sonic experience that I just wish you would enrich your life by. One of my favorite sounds. It's the '70s, literally. You know what I mean? Just that that dual twelve string thing. I love a 12 string. I hate trying to keep them in tune. I hate trying to fight with hum humidity and like, you know, you're playing a gig down at the lake, the whole deal, whatever. This would be a fantastic solution for that. Way more resilient than a typical acoustic guitar. And also, listen to the different sounds. So that first little ditty I was playing, that was just the neck pickup, right? This is position number two. That actually sits really good in the mix. I can hear that because that would be like, presumably if I'm playing with somebody else or even in a band, great lead singer weapon right here. It's got that little sparkle, sits right on top of the snare drum. That's what you want. This is position number three. This is the, the Merle position. poncho and lefty sounding. I like that. And then back here, what we got? That's, exactly. yeah, that kind of makes that pop out a little bit. So this is the 12 string position where you need that to just kind of pop out a little bit, maybe have a little bit more low end too. Or... The Tom Petty position, how about that? And then this back position here. That instantly reminded me of Heart, Dreamboat Annie, um, what, How Deep It Goes. Gosh, if you don't know that track, that is a killer song. Killer album too, by the way. There's a lot of different tones in this guitar. And again, we're just going through a Fender Acoustasonic Amp, which for all practical purposes is like a small PA, right? So you got to check these out. We've got them, palinmusic.com. Also, give us a call, 417-882-7000. We'll be happy to talk with you. We love you. Stay connected with us, folks. We'll see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you would hit the subscribe button, we will keep you in the loop with all new content that we upload. Also, if you're not already, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're posting new content all the time, and we want to stay connected with you. Palin Music at palinmusic.com.